Last time you joined us on our four and a half day passage from the BVI to the Bahamas. And what better way to kick off our stay in the Bahamas than having a beautiful beach braai by the people known as a barbecue. Yes! <laughs> We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We came in last night at around 3 o'clock, I think 2 o'clock, between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. We battled to find a good holding, very new grounds for us. Um, we saw on the charts it's more clear sand, so we went there and, and the anchor hold. But the rest is just the rocks and corals or something. And when we walk out, <laughs> you see this. There's blue water. And then you know, you're in the Bahamas. Just look at this. So we have to go somewhere there. That's the only marina on this island. And the customs is either there or just behind that building. So we need to find out where it is and then go check in. But look at the water, you can even see the shadow. <laughs> Yo, it is, and I think we're sitting at 9 meters deep here. So Tepix is down there, it's quite far, quite high. And it is, it's just pylons. So you can see the boats are trying to get away from the pylons. And that friendly gentleman over there said customs is somewhere down the road. And Sisu is out there. So we got this right on this go to customs which is <laughs> 100 meters far <laughs> awesome thank you sir not here oh uh, not here oh. <laughs> oh, okay that's not customs So it would appear we arrived. Thank you. <laughs> There's no lady likes to like us doing. Thank you so much. Thank you, you too. Yeah. And there's a, <laughs> a wine and spirits restaurant in between. <laughs> 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 it looks like the border post between South Africa and Namibia. Yeah. yeah. So, we're sitting outside. So that is customs. And here's a, a wine store and just next to it is the immigration. But it seems like the island is Somewhere, there's somewhere an inauguration going on, so everyone is at the inauguration or swearing in of people that is the new government. So even the immigration office is closed. <laughs> no, some cars, we cannot get some cars, we cannot get... <laughs> the island is, is at the function. <laughs> So we walk 400,000 miles and I think we will walk 400 miles more just to be the man. Okay, so this is the place that we walk this many. We just checked in. So, and it's called the Lighthouse Restaurant. Uh oh. Yeah, we have all of this here. Man. This was a very good restaurant with very good food and very good service. But look at that view. It's an amazing view. There we go. The Bahamas. 
That is the 18th country, 1-8 for Sisu. Check out the sunrise. And again, check out this water. Sheesh. Very clear. And over there is our buddies with newly found buddies Aurora. And they own a Maverick. A Maverick or Mavic 440 Maverick. Also South African boat. They just came across. And the skipper has done already 50 deliveries. 50. Uh, no, 50 ocean crossings, huh? Okay, so the skipper is Paul Bardenhorst. He's done 50 Atlantic crossings and he's done over 285,000 nautical miles. That equates to more than 13 times around the world in distance. Can you believe that? Oh, and by the way, if you are looking for cool parasailers, he's the guy to speak to. He supplies the Oxley sails. This is absolutely crazy. Look, the land is right here. Maybe not even, not even, say a kilometer. But look here. We set it on 105. It still says no depth. Cannot read it on both the sonar and. <laughs> it's just like, there's the land. <laughs> so we know. Maybe 400 meters away and here we can see it starts to rise from 120 meters. This is a drop off of note. Yo, huh? check, here's the sonar and here's a down vision. Now we're from 100 meters, 120 meters to 30 meters. I need to look for an anchor spot. This is how close we are. <laughs> we are going to die. Snorkel. Snorkel. We're snorkel. Snorkel, We're snorkel. gonna start snorkeling. See what's under there and see if it's worthwhile. Dive. Yeah. So this little atoll and it is really a little atoll just just look at this it is really something very small <laughs> that's Bahamas still Bahamas and that's Florida so in relation to that we are there. <laughs> uh, this is how it looks outside. Sorry for the wind. Maybe the wind is going to be a little bit tough. But we're going to snorkel here. Yeah. But this is the this is the whole island. And this is our friends over there. 
but this is the island. So Pietro is just got some a scuba gear together. Our friends need some funds. Yeah. And we're going to go. Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot to see down there, except for this nosy parker that kept hanging around. We even had a resident one underneath our boat that we fed. Anyway, so it was a short little snorkel, and then it was off to the little sandbank, you can't really call it an island, for a little bit of exploration. And this is the lighthouse. <laughs> and this is all of the island. Don't expect more. That's it! <laughs> Climbing the land! <laughs> it's now your land, what now? <laughs> no taxes! Yo, yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, down goes the Republic. <laughs> Our friends are over there of that amazing world renowned delivery skipper, and they're going to come tonight to Sisu for some. Look at this. Pasta. This is like chicken stuff. Chicken pasta. Chicken pasta. And Pietro is working here. <laughs> I'm crying. The onions are so strong. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm surviving. Like a pasta. Mmm. How cool is the spot where we are? Well, this is an amazing spot. And yes. she already had all the stuff out there. Yes. So. In the readiness. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be one amazing night. The sun is just about to come up. We left early, early this morning. It was just <laughs> too rolly. And it seems like the sea is again confused. It's getting rolly again. but. We had this little, we were anchored to this little, little cute space over here. That little atoll over there. And it's a small sandbank that we, that we actually anchored next to it. And what happened was, the wind was blowing from this side, so it comes around and then just makes a nice perfect chinks pincher and <laughs> we were anchored, we got hammered from that side and we got hammered from both sides, so it was not good. So about half past two this morning we decided this is it. We erased the anchor, the, the Genoa, no main yet, so it's only Genoa. And we are heading now for this little island, Acklins, Acklins Island. And once we anchored off, we discovered this little beach. And what do you get when you get a beach with a lot of driftwood? That can only be a brine. Wow. We have left a, 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 a clean, a clean islands, and we now sailing quite nicely. And we're on our way to the next, the next islands. On our way to Grand Exuma to meet up with some friends. And 
we've got our fishing lines out. And I think we've got the secret down. The secret is long leader lines. So from the swivel where you attach the different lures to the lure, that line need to be like a nylon single braid or like monofilament. So it has to be nylon filament and about say two to three meters long. Thank you for watching guys and if you liked what you saw please remember to hit the like button and if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button too and hang around for the next couple of videos on the Bahamas.